Hey, how are y'all today? Welcome back to Willie Farms. Glad you are here. I'm Craig. Today, we're going to work, be working on these buckets over here. We are going to make a bucket garden. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going to take some of these to my three sons. Uh, there is some things I want to keep separate so I can save the seeds. For example, tomatoes, uh, I've researched that on separation to save seeds, uh, and it any, indicates anywhere from 10 to 40 foot. So I'm going to err on the longer distance, I'm going 40 foot to save the seeds, uh, because tomatoes are mainly self-pollinating, and they're not really insect pollinated, although they do have some insects that do help with pollination sometimes. Um, peppers on the other hand require a longer distance so in order to save seeds from the peppers that is what I'm mainly doing these buckets for I'm going to take some tomatoes over there for them too to save but I'm taking the different pepper varieties to different ones of my son so they can save the seeds for me so I can keep a pure strain and uh, plus they will grow fine in five gallon buckets you can grow a lot of items in five gallon buckets tomatoes, peppers, you can grow uh, potatoes, which I'm growing also. I'm uh, doing a little more bucket raising, uh, container raising than I was, just because I want to try different things on that. So it uh, makes it a little more convenient. But the reason I'm doing this set is, like I said, to keep the se seeds pure for next year so I can have a seed that is exactly like the plant I'm trying to save seeds from. So that's what we're going to do here. So the first thing we need to do is drill some holes in these buckets. I've got a half inch drill bit and I'm going to drill holes in these. Just a couple on each one. Doesn't have to be a lot. As long as it drains out, it doesn't have to drain out rapidly. As long as it drains out over a period of an hour or two, you're going to be fine. You just don't want it to hold water in there to waterlog the plants. Two more. Now these are food grade buckets. Some of them aren't, like this one. This one is not a food grade, but they are clean buckets. They haven't had any harsh or harmful or dangerous chemicals in them. Now, if you put too many holes in these, uh, you can weaken the bottom of the bucket and make it harder to transport this full of dirt and plants. All right. Try to get all the plastic out of here and get rid of it. I don't want it laying around and the chickens eating it or anything else. All right. Now we are ready to go spread some gardening fun. I've got the buckets loaded. I've got the plants set up. We're going to go and visit three different places, and plant some things for those people, and so they can have some fun with their garden. All right, come on, let's go. Well, come on, let's put some dirt in the bucket. That's what we got to do first. All right, let's help me dump the bag in there. Come on. All right. Dump the bag in there. Sitting on. There you go. That's full, isn't it? All right, first thing we are going to plant is going to be a tomato. Deep hole. Dig real deep, real deep, real deep. All right, let's put the tomato in there. Put it in there. Now, cover it back up. All right, let's well, pour let's some... Water the plant. Water the plant. Pour some water in there on it. All right, that's good. All right, that's one tomato plant.
killed. Yeah, we gotta dig it up. Yeah. We're supposed to have. Um, I you like not a member? Mm -hmm. I like this. We're supposed to have a shovel to dig it up. With. Well, we can do it with our hands. Yeah, I will count. All right, let's let's put about hey, half. Yeah. All right, let's put the rest in that one. Can y'all put that one in there? Can you put it in. Got it. Oh, you got it. All right. Good job. Good job. There you go. Where's it going? Fill it all the way up to the top. Where's, where's, our, where's our plant going to be at? Anywhere. In this bucket? Yeah. Yeah. Where's our plant going to be? Why? This is where your, where's, where your tomato is going to grow. Yeah, because it's a garden tree. All right. Can you hold it up? Just hold it up there and I'm one of the sticks. So we're going to poke it down in here all the way. Give me another stick. Can we poke one? Sure, you can poke one. Over here. Poke this stick right there. Both of you. Come on. Push it all the way down. Good Wait, job. Why do we need two sticks? I'll show you in a minute. some dirt on it. But what about that? That's just the label. And then we're going to put a little bone meal on top of that. When are you going to wash your hands? Oh, I don't guess I'm probably going to wash my hands. I don't know. Maybe I will. You can wash it in our house. Okay. All right. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, okay, that's enough. All right, now we've got the purple potatoes planted.
And remember, count your blessings every day. And I believe you will find you're blessed far beyond measure. I know that I am. Bye.